Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about light pollution. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine you're outside on a clear night trying to look at the stars. Now think about how many stars you can see. If you live in a city or a place with lots of bright lights, you might not be able to see as many stars as you would in a darker area. That's because of something called light pollution. Light pollution happens when there is too much artificial light in the environment, especially at night. This excess light makes it difficult to see objects in the sky, such as stars. To the left, it shows us how much light pollution affects how we see stars in the night sky. On the right, it shows us that with no light pollution, we can see the stars clearly. There are a few types of light pollution. Sky glow. This is the brightening of the night sky over populated areas. Instead of seeing a dark sky full of stars, the sky looks kind of hazy and illuminated due to scattered light. Glare Glare occurs when lights are too bright and make it hard to see. For example, if you're driving at night and someone has their headlights on high beam, it can be blinding. This is a form of glare and it's a type of light pollution. Clutter This happens when there are too many bright lights in one place, making it challenging to focus on specific objects or details. It can be distracting and make it harder to see things clearly. What are the negative effects of light pollution? Wasted energy A significant amount of the light used for outdoor lighting is wasted by being directed where it's not needed. Impact on wildlife Light pollution can disrupt the natural behaviors of many animals, including birds, insects, and sea turtles. For example, newly hatched sea turtles rely on the natural light of the night sky to find their way to the ocean. Artificial lights can disorient them and lead them away from their intended path. Astronomical observations Light pollution makes it challenging for astronomers to observe celestial objects. Professional observatories are often located in remote areas to escape the effects of light pollution, allowing scientists to study the universe more effectively. Health Effects Exposure to excessive artificial light at night, especially the blue light emitted by many electronic devices, have been linked to disruptions in sleep patterns and potential negative impacts on human health. It can interfere with the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. Economic Costs The energy wasted due to poorly designed outdoor lighting represents a significant economic cost. Urban Sky Glow In large cities, the combined glow from all artificial lights create the phenomenon known as urban sky glow. This makes it difficult for residents to see stars and celestial objects even if they are far from the city center. Simple Solutions There are simple and effective ways to reduce light pollution. First is using shielded fixtures that direct light where it's needed. Another is turning off unnecessary lights during the night. And that is all for today's video. 
I hope you enjoyed learning about light pollution today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.